Simplified Chaos, Episode 74. Life is beautiful and full of chaos. And it can get slightly out of hand if that shit's not tamed. We're here to share how to simplify the little things to help you lead a more intentional life. This is Simplified Chaos. Hello, hello, wonderful friends. Welcome to Simplify Chaos. This is Jillian, one of your hosts, and I'm with my co-host and husband, Nicholas. What's going on, folks? Hope everyone's doing well today. We have another great episode here in store for you. Uh, Before we even dive into today's topics, we are recording with the windows open. Uh, It is gorgeous outside right now in the low 60s, low humidity. So you may hear some airplanes, you may hear some fireworks, you may hear some cars, who knows, Um, (laughs) but we are comfortable and just loving this weather. So the windows are open, so there may be some background noise. But besides that, Jilly, what are we diving into today? Today's topic is all about indulgences. Yes, quarantine indulgences. Yes. I'm looking forward to talking about what we've been indulging in. Hashtag treat yourself. That's right. (laughs) But before we dive into that, as always, we'd love to show a little gratitude before we dive into our topic. So, Jilly, what are you grateful for this week? I am grateful for long car rides. We did take a long car ride yesterday. It's so weird how things are so swapped because... I really didn't enjoy long car car rides because (laughs) my commute was long enough during the week and now we don't have a commute and I literally got super stoked because we were going to go for a long drive this weekend and um, I'm I'm also graceful I guess that I'm an Arbon consultant so if anyone doesn't know what Arbon is it's like a health and wellness company and um, one of my coworkers ordered something from me and she was like oh you can just ship it and I'll pay for shipping and I was like you know what can I come and drop it off personally it would be great to take a little family vacation quote yeah. unquote and a little actually, drive <laughs> i'll actually see somebody else so we drove and my coworker didn't realize she lived in a little mini mcmansion so it was pretty fun seeing her neighborhood with all these giant beautiful gorgeous houses and got to talk with her about 20 feet away yeah and just yeah, you guys up. were definitely social distancing <laughs> on that one it wasn't even on i'm purpose. sure it looked like you guys had to yell at each other in order to have that conversation oh <laughs> uh, it was great seeing her and we made some pit stops along the way and got some lunch somewhere yeah. we've never been to before so it was some it was, really good sandwiches well you had a salad and i had a sandwich but it was delicious i devoured that thing you did i may have been hungry or it may have been really good or a combination of both yeah we just had a little picnic outside and then we went to visit your friends um, later. Well, yeah. I keep saying your friends because they were- They're our friends. I know, but the, you know how like when you get married and like everyone has their own group of friends? Man, and five then... years later, you still can't get <laughs> over the your friends, my friends thing. It's just weird. <laughs> I And I, I know they're my friends too, but I'm like, they were your friends first, so I don't know. But... Well, I've known this guy <laughs> since I was seven, so- yeah, I guess you can say he's my... No, I'm just kidding. He's our friends. <laughs> good people. It was good to see them. Good to see their kids. Um, what about yeah. you? I am grateful for uh, my future brother-in-law, Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark. Yeah. So we had a big tree branch fall down off of our tree. It's one of the main branches on the tree. Earlier this week, we had winds coming from the opposite direction because we had a tropical storm off the coast of Maryland. And so winds were coming from the east rather than the west. And Only you would know that shit. I know. I'm a nerd. I love weather. <laughs> um, but I think that's really why it snapped the, the branch there. Like We've had some stronger winds this year, and, and maybe those weakened it a little bit more. Um, but I really felt like because of the direction the, the wind was going is the reason why it snapped in. He, um, you know, he took it upon himself one day when he got home from work and, you know, he, he works really hard, um, just was out there. And, and by the time I came up from the basement for my work, I mean, he had had the branch down, chopped up um, and was just pulling leaves off of it so that we can, you know, use the branches for fires later on this year. So just really grateful that he got that started. We're just about wrapped up with it. You know, we kind of took the, the rest of the week off, but I mean, we have it in manageable, manageable piles now. Um, so that was really nice of him to do that. And, you know, I definitely appreciate him doing that because he didn't have to do it. So he really went out on a limb, didn't he? He went out on a limb to help. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah. So that's what I'm grateful for. That was a really nice treat. 
he did for oh, you? Oh, God, Jilly, stop it. No? Yeah. All right, All right Jill. Topic. Quarantine <laughs> indulgences. We're just going to step away from the... Uh, the puns. Oh, and we're never stepping away from the puns. I know. For as long as we both I find both myself live, doing I mean. that stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, so we thought it, we felt called to talk about this because I think sometimes, at least me, I, I've been feeling guilty because I've been treating myself more than usual, but it's like, this is such an unusual time. I yeah. feel like we have to take advantage of it. And I don't think we're overindulging, but we're doing things differently than we normally do. And why the hell not? Like, this is the time. Exactly. We're never going to get a time like this ever again. Hopefully. I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, we <laughs> we don't want to be on quarantine ever again in our lives. But it's like, why not take advantage of the flexibility we have, the time we have, and then just make the most of it and do things that may seem like they're a little bit more indulging than usual. I think... I'm calling them indulgences because we don't usually do them. Right. But this is like our new norm now, and I'm kind of digging it, the the advantage that we have right now. Right. And um, yeah, I just wanted to talk like about what the what kind of pleasures we're getting into since the pandemic started. Sure. Do you want me to start first? Go ahead. I'll uh, do the second one. All right. This one is one that you've been making fun of me for, and I uh. don't talk about it in public because I'm embarrassed that I do it. <laughs> I've been watching some not the best TV shows, and it's I, I limit myself to two episodes. So first, I started watching Summer House, which I've watched in the past. It's on all of this shits on Bravo TV. Um, so we do have YouTube there TV, you have it. but I've watched Summer House every now and then, and I again I stop myself at two because after two episodes, I feel really icky. <laughs> it's like two's the perfect amount, and then I finished Summer House, so now I am. <laughs> I'm watching Vanderpump Rules, which is another indulgence that I used to watch a lot. And then when we cut the cord on cable and I didn't watch it for a long time. And now that I have time, I'm like, I kind of watch one or two episodes before I go to bed. I've kinda... So what is it about these shows? I mean, like you said, you feel <laughs> icky after watching two of them. What what attracts you to them? So I guess it's initially, initially it's because the characters, they're so different and the drama that they go through it's just so ridiculous you need it's, a little drama in your life there babe it's just fun to watch i can i, can I guess put a little drama because i don't have people people interaction <laughs> it's like i don't hear anybody's stories really so it's just yeah. and these aren't like quality stories by any means but it's just entertaining and it makes me laugh and i'm shaking my head most of the time but it's just it's funny and again i don't talk about it in public that's like my rule i'm like i'm not gonna be like hey what did you think of vanderpump the other day it's like <laughs> As long as I don't talk about it in public, except for this podcast, it's like, it's okay to me. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not judging. I know. <laughs> Did you want to do one? Yeah. So I don't feel like I'm watching anything different than I would watch on TV. Like we finished up, uh, you know, a couple of series that we would normally watch. And the one thing that I haven't been watching obviously is sports because that's not happening but i did watch the uh last dance documentary which is about the 1998 bulls and michael jordan it was awesome um you know filled my sports void for now <laughs> but for me we've been really indulging in cocktails and drinks and stuff and i think we've alluded to that in past episodes but it's not really to the point where we're like getting hammered at all like i think i think i've night. overindulged maybe twice during quarantine I can't and one said of them the word hammered like i don't think we've ever gotten hammered at home like in a well, long time it's been a really long time especially but, since the seal's been boring yeah no no <laughs> but what i'm saying is like you know we're probably having a, at least a cocktail four maybe five times a week which is fine uh i would say that i've overindulged maybe a handful not not even a handful of times maybe twice um one when i was playing poker uh, with friends and i think the other time was when we ordered the uh margaritas from vita taco oh yeah we overindulged that had night a slight hangover <laughs> the next day but yeah i mean it's not something that we would normally do obviously you know we, we do love a good cocktail and a, and a good drink and you know we were probably at two to three times a week before and now we've we've stepped our game up to four to five times but yeah yeah again we're we're in a situation where we're at home we're not going to have this kind of situation again. And I, my office is literally down in the basement, so I don't have to worry about getting up and driving or anything. But yeah, yeah, we're, we're fancying in some cocktails. 
Which kind of leads me to my next indulgence, Ooh. which has been just staying up later. That was what I was going to say next. I've, We're sharing some indulgences. I've been going to bed maybe between 10 and 11 now. That's unheard of. Which for you. is ridiculous for me. And part you of me were, is like... You were 8.30, 9 o'clock before. I know. And it's like, what's happening? And I think because I'm staying up later, now I'm indulging in ice cream a little bit more because I'm <laughs> up later. And I'm like, hey, why not have a little snack? But when I say this is like, I don't just eat ice cream to eat ice cream. Like, it's got to be quality. And this shit is like from a local creamery. It's chocolate peanut butter. And it is phenomenal. It's and it really ag- good. It agrees with my body. And I feel good. And I, it just it feels you right. You don't no, because I, I know like when to stop eating too much. And I guess because it's just quality shit, like yeah. ingredients are good. I, I know like when to stop and it's just like the perfect little treat. And this is not an every night treat. Like it's no, no. We, know. And it's really nice. Like the other night we were sitting on the back steps of the patio and you, me and Lucille were sharing a bowl of ice cream and she was saying Papa ice cream. Mama ice cream, Lucille ice cream. So we each <laughs> yeah. got our turn and she remembered the order and made sure that we all had a, uh, a bite to eat. So I'm only doing it to help my daughter learn patterns. That's Ex- the yeah. only reason. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever it. it takes, right? <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've also been going to bed a little bit later. Um, and you know who else has been going to bed a lot later? Is our, our daughter. Our little nugget. Yeah, she was normally an 8, 8.30 bedtime and now she's 9 30 10 o'clock bedtime but she's also sleeping in later which yeah. she never was she was an early riser just like you mm-hmm. and now she is sleeping in until 7 30 maybe eight o'clock if we're lucky but yeah she's been staying up later and and sleeping later you've been sleeping later yeah it you, was nice you used to get up at five well, that's how I was like programmed. Like, well, oh, yeah, that well, was you needed to. My internal clock. Yeah. Like, that's what time I'd wake up for work. So it's like, well, it's just going to go- keep going with it on the weekends. And yeah. it was actually nice waking up before the sun or as the sun was coming up. I do miss that a bit. But you know what? I know this is only temporary. So I'm enjoying it while it is and oh, yeah. going with the flow. Um, something else I had was just having less guilt. And taking advantage of the flexibility that I have with work. I think in the beginning I felt a little bit wrong. Because I think a lot of people can say, I know you are not cannot say this, that a lot of people are saying that I feel like I'm not doing 100% at home when it comes to work. And I feel like that's completely normal because we have kids, we have other things mm-hmm. going on. And it's hard to do the exact job you were doing and when you were in a different setting than it is when you're at home. Because I think everything's so different. And part of me felt a little bit guilty that I was like, you know what, I'm like, I planned a bike ride with a coworker and I was not going to meet with my kids. Usually I meet with my kids for an hour and just Mm -hmm. I'm there, I'm present, you know, pop on if you need me, I'm on Google Meet. And then I decided to do like, um, like on Friday when we went out, was that last Friday? Last Friday when we took a day off. Mm -hmm. Well, it was more like you took a day off. I was still kind of active, like if they needed me, but nobody had any questions. And then... I took a bike ride with a coworker and I went to um, Hyattsville and it was so fun. And I told the kids like, listen, I won't be on Google Meet today, but I will be available if you have any questions. So technically I was still working, but I have so much flexibility. And part of me is like, I feel like I should really take advantage of this. Not till it's like every day I'm going to go somewhere, but just maybe like one day a week, like tell the kids I'm available through my app versus being face to face Monday through Friday And just enjoying the flexibility and the time that I do have because it's never going to be like this again. Yeah. So I've been indulging a bit more in taking advantage of the flexibility with work and being outside more or playing more and just kind of saying, I'm here, but I'm not here, if that makes any sense. Yeah. No, that makes total sense. That sounds like I'm a horrible teacher or not. No, no. I mean, it's very different. Like, it just really depends on the job. Like, with me, like, I don't feel like there's time for me to take off and and do those things, quote unquote, mail it in or whatever, because there's just so much going on. And and there's a lot of people who depend on the work that I guess my team does. I don't know if there's anybody in my 
company who is mailing it in at all. Um, it seems like everybody's been pretty busy, but it just, I think it really depends on, on the job. I, I do know some people who are like, yeah, I'm working like 60, 70% of what I did when, you know, when I was working and I feel like I'm working at 115, 120% of what I was doing before. Yeah. Um, you can attest to that. I'm, I'm in that basement mm-hmm. and, and barely move out of there. I don't know how you sit in a desk <laughs> and a computer all day long. Like I sit in front of a computer for two hours and I'm just like, I need to get up. Yeah. I need to do something like this is wrong. Well, you know, it's, it's, fun. it's funny. Like I've always, I've kind of take after my dad where if there was a project that I would like skip lunch just because like I'm going at it and just want to get it done. Like if I'm doing yard work, like I, I won't take a break until I feel like I'm at that point where like I can wind down and, and wrap up a project. And I don't know if it's just like in the zone or whatever. And I, and I think that's probably the best way that I can describe it. Um, but that's just kind of been my work ethic. That's kind of what I've seen growing up and you know, it's, it's what I do. And you see, and I have my dad in me where he said, you got to take time for yourself. Like, you got to take yeah. breaks. You got to do this. So it's, I don't have that aspect of me. Like, I, I want to get the job done. But at the same time, like, I'm important. This, my body is more important than this work. So yeah. I'm going to stop what I'm doing and do this. But just because I just got Dick Willie in me, like that's my right. dad. And it's the opposite. And it's just like, you know what? I'm, I'm seeing this project all the way through. I have set myself a, a deadline and this is what I want to do. And of course, I want to make sure it's done right. But like, yeah, like sometimes when you're in a zone, it's just really tough to pull away from that. And I still feel like it's the you get the same outcome, like whether you take breaks or you don't like it's just the way. That well, the research work. says, babe, that well, if you take breaks, you're more efficient. <laughs> we'll see about that. My, my work's <laughs> no, pretty. My different. work speaks for itself. Our worth, our work <laughs> ethic is just different. It's not wrong. It's just yeah, that's the way we exactly we function. So. I feel like we've really been indulging in sushi a lot more now that our favorite sushi place is open and maybe it's because we had it taken away from us for a solid 45 days or so Mm -hmm. but we've been eating a lot more sushi lately and don't get me wrong i don't hate it i freaking love it um but i think that's something we've really been indulging in a little bit more um yeah it's a little bit on the pricier side but i don't care like I missed it. Well, that and we were saving money in a- yeah. other areas, so it's... Gasoline. Let's put it towards really good food and yeah. enjoy this time. Hell yeah. Um, I had on here, which is kind of related, is that we've been doing, like, like was it last week or the week before, we had, like, a takeout family night, which was cool with my mom. Oh, yeah. We normally don't do things like that during the week because we have to work and wake that was up on early. A Tuesday. But Tuesday we decided to pick up really good brick oven pizzas um with my delicious. mom because she loves this place. And we brought it home and we had some wine and we were just chilling with the fam and it was just a really good time. Yeah. So yeah, no, we've been doing that. Our favorite coffee places have opened up again. And you and I have been doing this tradition for about the entire quarantine where we on Thursday afternoon at noon, take a little trip to Laurel and grab a, a latte from one of our favorite places, a place that you used to go to all the time when you were driving home from work. And yeah. we love supporting small businesses and we love our lattes, so we've been uh, we've definitely been indulging in that. You know, we wouldn't normally do that during the week at all. No, you know, we usually save that for the weekends, and we've been going to our favorite Rise Up. You know, on the weekends now that that's open, we did a nice surprise trip last Saturday. I want to say it was either Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, definitely making sure that we get our coffee fix in. Yeah, and I would also say. Um... I've been really missing podcasts a lot. Yeah. I find that my speech is like going down, like certain words. I can't think of things. I'm like, I feel like I was so much sharper when I would listen to like really good conversations with just people that inspired me and motivated me. Just listening to them talk. Mm-hmm. You know how like when it's like role modeling, like you pick up how what you hear. Well, you've been watching Vanderpump Rules, so. Oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> God damn it. That's so true. So I've... <laughs> Because I'm noticing that, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm getting <laughs> s- more stupid, because stupider is not a word. I don't want to say that, but I I do see an academic point of me that's just like, I really need to... Well, you haven't been in the classroom and amongst no, peers either. I mean, there's a lot really of reasons for that. I mean, it's not... Verbally. I, I joke about the whole Vanderpump Rules thing, but 
we haven't had adult to a other adult conversation yes. in a long time and, and that has a lot to do with you haven't been in front of your kids for eight hours in a day you're only you're, you're doing the lessons but i mean you're talking to them for what an hour of the day yeah. so there's a lot of things that you're missing in life and it's not that you're not sharp or anything like that it's just that I'm not as sharp as i yeah. <laughs> was but i started this thing last week and i don't even know if you know about it but when we picked up lattes because where we got lattes was a little bit closer to home. Mm -hmm. I was able to have a little bit extra time. So I took my latte and I went for a walk and I listened to a podcast. Yeah, I did notice that. And I think this is something that I want to start doing because I really enjoyed listening to a podcast. I just realized how much my body craved it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I'm going to start doing that again. Just maybe after latte breaks, just popping in my earbuds, listen to something that motivates me and going on a little stroll. Um, I really enjoyed that. So. Yeah, I definitely need to get back in the podcast. I mean, I've noticed it too, like from our numbers, that there's a lot of folks who probably listen to us when they were on their commute. And now that they're not driving, you know, we know our numbers have gone down a little bit, but so have a lot of other podcasts too. And I completely get it. I mean, I have not listened to, and we did a whole episode on the podcast we listened to. I mean, I listen to a lot. You listen to a lot of yeah. them. Um, I know my listenership is is down completely, and and now that I even am talking about that out loud, you know, it makes me want to try and go back and start supporting those folks that I was supporting before. That's a good because idea. it means a lot to them. I mean, a lot of them, it's their livelihood, and that's how they make money, and they make their money off of advertising, and they get advertising because of the number of people who are listening to them. So. Yeah. Now that I'm saying that out loud, I I think I want to try to really make it an obligation. Now I'm not going to listen to the extent that I was listening to before. I don't have time for that. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud that I don't have time for that. But literally, like my day is I finish up and then I take over for Lucille so that you can either do dinner or get your work done. So like it's really it's it's when when I'm done, my time goes there. So I just need to build in at least an hour of my day just to listen to maybe one podcast. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I want to start doing that. Schedule that shit, babe. Schedule that shit. So if you're done, I can, speaking of listeners, we have some listener shout outs. We do. I got one more thing though. All right, go for it. One more, one more quarantine indulgence. And this isn't for us, but it's for our daughter. She has been making out like a bandit with outdoor activity toys since we, this whole quarantine started. So she got a trampoline at the very beginning of quarantine she just got a water table. So we had we made a, a makeshift water table, but like that thing would be she was already starting to bend it and whatnot. Um so we got the real water table for her and she loves that. And then she just recently this week, uh her grandmother got her a slide that has a rock climbing wall for her to get up to the top of the slide, and she's already mastered it. Like it's just really cool just to see her looking down where her feet are as she's walking, climbing up. So she's getting a little indulgences, but we're making sure that she's getting stuff. And we don't need to coax her to go outside or anything like that. She loves being outdoors anyway. But like the things that we are getting her are things that are like physical activity and things that, you know, she's using and she uses all of them. So I'm yeah, really it's excited. It's intentional stuff. It's intentional. It's things exactly. we know that they will last for a while. There's something that motivates her to go outside even more and use her body yeah and i'm really jealous i really wish everything we got her was adult friendly too because like i want to rock climb <laughs> yeah, I know, right? and a slide i want a trampoline like, yeah everything she has in I'm due like, time i know for right now it's just fun watching her it explore is. and you know grow and change and it's just it's crazy yeah the indulgences in time with her for sure i mean i don't know how many Lucille led walks I'm going on now. Now she's telling you where to go in the stroller. Oh, yeah. She, yeah she's pointing. She's like, like, Papa, that way? Yeah, that yeah. way. That way. And I'll end up places. I'm like, hey, Nick, I've gone too far. <laughs> I've gone too far. Yeah, Can you I actually come had to come up? pick you up the other day. <laughs> but it's really fun that we have the space and time to, to do this now. Yeah, so the indulgences I, I know are temporary and it's actually making me more open to what indulgences that I might want to hold on to a little bit more exactly when we go back to work. So it's been fun experimenting this time. Absolutely. So, so yeah, ready cliffhanger for listener shout outs. Yeah. So I wanted to hear some of the indulgences um, or ways that uh, our listeners were kind of having fun. So I have one, two, three, four. You ready? All right, let's go. For All it. right. My girl, Steph Dubs. Oh, what's up, tell Steph? The, the Instagram handle. Uh, she has family bike rides, 
game night, date nights, garage nice. dance parties. Ooh, that sounds fun. Hiking wherever we can and ice cream. And her husband, I think, is like lactose intolerant. So she said she found a dairy free option. So nice. I'm super pumped. Um, KB15. What up, KB15? Says um, they've been doing trails like anywhere that's open for a hike. I guess her and the kids uh, washed toys, their toy cars outside with water. That's awesome. A little car wash. <laughs> uh, dance parties. I'm loving the dance parties. And Seems I'd, to be a common theme. We've had our own little dance parties, we too. We do. I've been doing do one dance for like a day, too. And I've been posting it just like a way to move your body and have fun. And then chocolate and wine. I'm down for that as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Get some good That's dark chocolate. That's a great chocolate. combo. Mm. And then. You have to go with red wine with chocolate, right? I mean, it depends on the pairing. Do you remember having a, we had a, like a really sweet wine with a certain chocolate? And oh, it was that's phenomenal. right. Yeah, when that's we were right. out in Sonoma. Ignore me. You're good. You're good. Um, Amanda <laughs> Joy Jones. What's up, Amanda? Sa- says cocktails. Holler. You know, they're, <laughs> I'm loving that they, a lot of these things are similar to what we're doing. So it's I'm wearing cool. my cocktail shirt, my simplified chaos cocktail shirt. Which we do have some extra. So if anyone wants a t shirt, like reach out. We do yeah. have like, th- I think three left. All um, extra smalls. No, I'm they're kidding. Not. They are I'm not. Kidding. I forgot the Random variety. sizes. But yeah. And um, A Burn A28. What up, Burnham? Our girl, Burnham. <laughs> She's had fun with it. She said buying a house. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. So, so, yeah. So she's been indulging in house hunting and she finally found one, which is Can't cool. Can't wait to see it. I know. So that. Thank you to everyone who reached out and yeah, no, shared really a little cool bit of here. Yeah, a little bit of the fun, a little bit of the treat yourself things you guys treat have been yourself. doing. It's been fun. All right. So you got any resources for our listeners today? I do. All right. Let's drop them. The resource. As she scrolls to it. As I scroll to it is a blog post. It's from Oprah on Oprah.com. <laughs> and this is my wife, Oprah. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. Harpo. It is why we should treat yourself. Why should you treat yourself, Jilly? I'm just going to read a little bit. <clears throat> why should we treat ourselves, Oprah? Quote, unquote, treats may sound like a self-indulgent, frivolous strategy, but they're not. Because forming good habits can be draining, treats can play an important role. When we give ourselves treats, we feel energized, cared for, content, which boosts our self-command, and self-command helps us maintain our healthy habits. Studies show that people who got a little treat in the form of receiving a surprise gift or watching a funny video gained in self-control. It's a secret of adulthood. If I give my, if I give more to myself, I can ask more from myself. Self-regard isn't selfish. By contrast, when we don't get any treats, we feel depleted, mm-hmm. resentful, and angry, and justified in self-indulgence. We start to crave comfort, and we'll grab that comfort wherever we can, even if it means breaking good habits. I like that. I think it's just a different way to look at it if you may or may not be feeling shameful or guilty because you're doing things that are out of your norm. I I don't know. That kind of just kind of wheels my mindset back in that it's needed to continue because it's such a different time to keep our happiness levels up and to be more content. And it's okay. Like, this is... It's a strange time, so it's like, why not take advantage of it? Absolutely. We should treat ourselves after this podcast. You know what I'm saying? Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, and I have an announcement to make. Oh, Since announcement. Since we're talking about like treating yourself and fun, we are going to start interviewing people again. Yeah. And I am really- We're I know reaching out. Our, you know, our mission was to go to people face-to-face, and we had all these plans to go. And yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but we're going to reach out and find people who are doing just- rad as fuck things that are keeping them happy during this time and we want to just share that love so get ready for some interviews just a fun of ways people are just making the best out of this and just kind of lightening the load absolutely during this time. i can't wait i'm super pumped for that okay quote of the day jilly i've got two man so sorry cheater i know all right i'll read the first one because it's it's kind of similar to a resource but i love gretchen rubin i don't know if you know her but anyway i'm not a, i'm not familiar with That's gretchen okay. okay so here she goes a treat is different from a reward which must be justified or earned a treat is a small pleasure or indulgence that we give to ourselves just because we want it 
Treats give us greater vitality, which boosts self-control, which help us maintain our healthy habits. So again, it's very similar, but I'm just emphasizing the importance of this. Absolutely. (laughs) I think you've done a great job. (laughs) But let's drop that other quote. And this one's from Angelina Jolie. What's up, Angelina? And this is short and sweet. (laughs) Anything that feels good couldn't possibly be bad. That's true. So true. (laughs) But Except for cocaine. No. Just oh, God. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Oh. All right. And our take action challenge. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Indulge and take advantage of these moments. To just make yourself happier. Watch Parks and Recreation, with the Treat Yourself episode. Treat and you'll yourself. know what you're talking about. Parks and Recs, Hell we yeah. should indulge in that. That would I can be get fun. down with that. Just cherry pick. I don't want to watch yeah, the whole yeah. thing, but for some reason, Parks and Recs is one of those shows where I just like cherry pick it. I want to watch the one where Andy sneezes and hits his head oh in the wall God. and gets concussed. That is so like, it funny. It is awesome. I watch I, that all the time. It's awesome. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okie dokie. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you like this episode, please do us a favor and help us spread the message. You can do this by writing review or simply sharing this episode with a friend. And remember that sharing sparks a conversation. Conversation leads to action. And action is how we are able to live a happy and intentional as hell lifestyle. We want to thank you all for listening today. And we will see you again next week. See you later, guys.